All right, everybody, welcome back uh, to this episode with the XFIS guy. Um, I'm going to cover how to do um, some calculation with the ACSM metabolic equation for walking. Now, in this video, I'm only going to cover the walking equation, and I'm only going to cover how to solve for VO2 at a given intensity. So, in other words, if you know somebody's speed and incline, how do you calculate what their VO2 is? So I'm going to do that today. So I have written up here the walking equation where VO2 is equal to 0.1 times the speed. And keep in mind um, the caveats to the speed and the grade and you'll add 1.8 times the speed times the grade and then plus 3.5 and a lot of people ask me why the plus 3.5 at the end why is there seemingly just this number thrown in there that is to take into account the resting vo2 which for every individual is 3.5 milliliters um, per kg per minute. So that's where that number comes from. Now, in this example, I'm presenting an individual who's walking on a treadmill at three miles an hour on a 4% grade. What is their VO2? Now, typically what I do and what I have my students do for the very first step is I say, you know, on your piece of paper, write down what your known numbers are. So we know, for example, that this individual is walking at three miles per hour. And we know that they're walking on a 4% grade. Now, the reason why I like to do this step first is because, remember I said there's a caveat in the equation, your speed must be in meters per minute. So if we write down our known factors, 3.0 miles per hour, we have to convert that into meters per minute. And to do that, you're always going to take whatever your miles per, hours, um, miles per hour is and multiply it by 26.8. So that's going to be your standard conversion. Now, for students looking to take the AC exam exam, they will give you this equation. So you do not have to memorize this. However, they are going to assume that you know two things. Number one, that speed must be input into the equation in meters per minute. And number two, they're going to assume that you know that you have to multiply the miles per hour by 26.8 to get to the meters per minute. They will not tell you that. They will never give you any of the conversion factors. For example, if they give you somebody's weight in kilograms, they're going to assume that you know to multiply that by 2.2 to get pounds, um, so on and so forth. Um, okay, and they're on a 4% grade, and we've written down that we know they're in a 4% grade. I'm missing my E in there. <laughs> the grade needs to be input into the equation in the form of a decimal. So what that means is, this individual who's on a 4% grade, I need to divide that by 100 to get the percentage in a decimal. So for example, if this was a 12% grade, the speed would be input as 0.12. So after we have done that, we've done our 3.0 miles per hour into meters per minute, and we've done our percent grade into decimal, then what we can do is rewrite our equation. So rewrite VO2 equals 0.1 times 80.4, right? Because remember the speed in meters per minute. And then fill in the second part, plus, so remember always put your parentheses, plus 1.8 times 80.4 times 0 0.04. Remember the grade has to go in in a decimal. And then always remember your 3.5 after. So that's the first step. Just rewrite the equation with the proper numbers in the proper spaces. Step number two, what I'll do is just do this part first. 
we have two sets of parentheses, so it, we can do these separately for now. 0.1 times 80.4 equals 8.04. So don't do anything else, just do that and then rewrite your equation, VO2 equals 8.04 plus this right here in the parentheses plus 3.5. Now, just do this part in the parentheses, the 1.8 times 80.4 times 0 0.04. That will give you 5.7888. So don't do anything else. Now again, just rewrite your equation. VO2 equals 8.04 plus 5.7888 plus 3.5. Now all you have to do is add those three numbers together, and that will give you your VO2 at that particular speed and particular incline. Um, in other videos coming up, I will show how to solve for speed and to solve for grade, um, but this is just purely showing how to solve for the VO2. And VO2, again, remember, is um, the best overall indicator we have for total body health, but it also acts as a way for us to gauge exercise intensity, um, and it's a very good way for us to monitor progression as we go through whatever kind of, whatever kind of program that you're using. So again, students taking the tests, remember um, a couple of important things. Remember that you do not have to memorize this equation. Speed must always be in meters per minute. So to do that, take your miles per hour and multiply it by 26.8. And your grade must always be in a decimal. So take whatever your grade is. If it's four, divide that by 100, it'll give you 0 0.04. Um, if it's 12, it would be 0.12. You simply move the decimal place over two. To the left. Um, I hope this was a good breakdown of how to use the ACSM walking equation to solve for VO2. Look for uh, some of the other videos for how to solve for speed, grade, and I will also do some of the other modalities as well, such as cycling um, and leg, um, sorry, arm ergometry and leg ergometry. Okay, bye.